Welcome to Kim's Creations. I have a very different uh, set of paintings that I'm going to show you today. My niece and myself got together and did something that was very similar to what AB Creative has done. So right now you can see that we selected um, a crow and I selected a phoenix and we just traced them out and then cut them out and then retraced them on um, basically sticky paper. And we're going to peel the backs off here and stick them down onto our canvases as um, a template for our paintings. So what's coming up here is going to be the great struggle of trying to get one the our birds in place where we want them on the canvas and then get the backing off that clear paper so what I'm explaining to her right now is that we need to figure out where exactly the birds are gonna go and how our um, swipe is going to go from there so yes this is gonna be a swipe um, so she's just pointing out what she's envisioning for her crow so she says that the kind of the turbulence or the uh, blackness the swipe basically is gonna come out from the bottom of the wings and down so we're just marking the position because you're gonna have to pick that up the stencil up uh, and peel it off and you want to be able to uh, know where you're going to put that stencil back down so this here now is us trying and trying and trying to get that backing off And it looks like Mackenzie beat me. So my niece and I had a fun summer. She spent six weeks with me. And this is a big reason why I didn't get to do much painting except for this fabulous piece. Because I was busy doing other things and having fun with her. So Mackenzie's got her crow down. I'm now getting my phoenix down. We both went to YouTube, and, or not YouTube, sorry. We both went just and did a Google search on images of, well, she did a search for crows. I did a search for images on phoenix. And uh, that's where we got our templates from. Now we're just making sure that the um, birds are really stuck down to the base. And now that we feel reasonably confident that not too much paint will seep under, we are flooding our canvas with our selected base coats. Kenzie's got a nice light gray color that she mixed up herself just using uh, some black artist loft with some white artist loft the paints are all mixed to about a dutch pour consistency i actually thought i might have had it a bit too thin so once we got the paint on the canvas i did wait about 20 minutes uh, before we started to layer on the swipe paints Just popping air bubbles and filling in any parts that we might have missed. Here's where we waited and then we came back. You can see I've got the paints that I'm going to be using off to the side there. And Mackenzie has a mixture of grays, blue black by um, Pebeo. And we are just laying down our paints in little dots. Um, that we will then swipe with 
cut up paper towel. Just finishing up my bird. Mackenzie decided she wanted to add a little bit of white in there. I thought that was a good choice. There's my dog Cosmo coming to check us out. All right, I'm using a gold, the the um, Deco Art Metallics 24K gold as my swipes. The swipe colors do have two drops of silicone in it. Mackenzie created her own blood red color as her swiping color. And again, two drops of silicone in that. And I'm just going to sit back and let you guys enjoy the swiping. So this painting did take us several days to do. Um, we took a day just to kind of research our birds and trace them out on paper, cut them out, and then I had to wait for the uh, order on the uh, kind of that label paper, the clear label paper, to come in on, with Amazon so that we could then stick them onto our canvases. And then with this layer, see Mackenzie's getting all into it now and adding little curly cues with the uh, paper towels. Very creative, that one. Um, so after we did this, of course, we had to let the paint dry before we could peel off the um, the clear paper that we had stuck down. Looks like Mac is finished. And I am just finishing my bird up here. I thought I'd bring you in for a close-up of what I was doing, seeing as how Mackenzie was done with hers. Um, just so you can see the really cool lacing that I'm getting from this. I'm loving my purple background on there. But, as you will see later, it dries so dark. Um, and it was, uh... I believe the Amsterdam violet what was it I don't know <laughs> I don't know I don't remember it's been uh, several days now but it was an Amsterdam paint that was violet and something else so now I'm looking at this and I'm thinking Okay, I'm really liking the shape of everything that I've got, but I'm not sure it has enough red in it. It's not flaming enough. So here you'll see me add more drops of red. So I had a yellow, an orange, a copper, and a red in here. And then of course the gold to swipe with. So here I'm adding a bit more of that orange back in.
I'm just pushing aside that base area from the wing. And again, I thought that my right side needed more, more of a red uh, touch to it. And now we are going to see the dried results, sorry, the wet results after we've been done messing with it. And then next up will be the dried results. So now we're ready, it's the next day. And we're gonna try and peel up that um, sticky clear paper and it'll leave us with a mostly clear template um, of our birds underneath. Let me tell you, it was hard. It was a challenge to get that paper up and unstuck from the base. But eventually we got it. You can see I got mine there. Max still struggling with hers a bit. There we go. And then we get Mackenzie's off. <laughs> the tail on her bird got stuck down pretty well there so we didn't want to rip it there we go all good so there was some bleeding but with the colors that were going over on both her bird as well as mine that wasn't going to be an issue so we are just putting down I put down some more of my dark purple she put down the black and we're both mixing in some white to lighten up our colors. You can see how dark my background went. And so that's why I'm mixing in some white just to lighten up that purple. And Mackenzie is going with a black that's only been slightly lightened up. She just added a little bit in there. Um, for right now. So we're both just going around the outline of our birds making sure that they're defined and being really careful to not get the paint over the edges too much but because the the other paint is dry it's easy to just wipe off if you do mess up. So from here, I'm just gonna show you clips, different stages that we're at. I'm still outlining. Mackenzie's just about got her bird done. And now she has made up light, two different kinds of, of a lighter gray just to define the wings on her bird. And here, very smart, she decided to use her fingers to finger paint and blend her colors. So that was her final piece. I fidgeted with mine almost ad nauseum. I didn't know when to stop. So that's why you've got a close up of mine. She declared hers done. And I decided I needed to continue to kind of blend the fire colors a little bit more. Um, so this piece here we are at the very end now. That's Mackenzie's beautiful crow. And there is my phoenix. So thanks so much for watching. Till the next time.